Hi guys, welcome to Mars Home Kitchen, where your family friendly recipes everyone can enjoy. So today's video is for a long and slow pot roast. So sit back, relax and enjoy, and thanks for watching. Now we take a Dutch oven or a heavy based oven proof pan and to that we're going to add some vegetable oil. Then on top of that there we're going to add our roast beef. Now we're going to cook our roast beef for 3-4 to four minutes on each side just until it starts to brown up. Now we like a nice crust on our roast beef and we make sure we get it all browned all over. We just make sure it's browned on all sides, this does help with the flavour at the end. Now we'll take it out and we'll set it to the side and to our Dutch oven then we're going to add some shallots. We'll cook those just for 2-3 to three minutes and scrape the flavour off the bottom of the pan. Then to that we're going to add some whole cloves of garlic and we'll pop our roast back in. Then to the roast we're going to add some good full bodied red wine, a couple of spoonfuls of tomato puree, just give that a stir around to mix it in. Then some good quality beef stock. Now obviously homemade is best, but if not, you can always use a stock cube. Then a couple of large sprigs of rosemary. And a couple of fresh bay leaves. If you don't have fresh bay leaves, obviously use dried. We'll pop the lid onto that. And then we'll put that into a preheated oven at 150 degrees centigrade. And we'll let that cook for 4-5 to five hours just until it's really tender. Now folks, if you're enjoying my videos, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. It does help the channel and it means I can make further videos for you. So now our beef has been cooking all day and we're just going to take it out. As you can see the beef's really well cooked and the gravy's nice and thick. Now we're going to do a little bit of a trick of mine. We're going to take the beef out, we're going to take the gravy, we're going to skim some of the fat off and then to the gravy and the sauce we're going to add a couple of tablespoons of clear honey. Just give that a stir around, bring it to the boil and let the sauce reduce. So now that our gravy and sauce is reduced it's time to serve our pot roast. As you can see this beef is tender, it's really 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 nice and it goes really well with the onion and shallot gravy. Now folks I hope you enjoyed this video for pot roast and if you did thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my further videos.